that you have three two options above they come to put your makeup and ready but before we start let me give you a quick heads up about its business model revenue model and strategy so the business model of this platform is service booking platform for courier the site owner is earning commission as revenue using this platform this platform has three user types customer driver and end your driver will be able to accept your booking rush to complete the delivery can manage user call profile can see booking history and earnings also can manage payouts the customer will be able to book the courier service using instant booking and scheduled booking options can manage user call profile can see scheduled booking can view booking history and can give review and rate to the driver admin will be able to manage the entire platform using the admin so i hope that you guys have basic idea about this platform and are all interested in all over the concept so now let's take a quick drive of this platform hi in this video we will be viewing various panels and applications that are involved in a pickup and delivery application so let's get first started with the admin panel so in front of you you can see the dashboard of an admin panel the dashboard has various statistics that are involved and an admin must know what is going on in the business how many drivers how many customers truck load size and how many completed bookings are there on the platform then there are a couple of pie charts and graphs that display similar data total earnings can also be seen in a graph next menu under the dashboard is online drivers this shows the admin how many drivers are online what is their contact number what type of a vehicle do they have right now and where is their real time location and the users the first users are the drivers so admin can basically see every single detail of the drivers who are registered on the platform he or she can also add a driver along with various details like his license number his email address details and his uh, truck type where does he belong to if there are any new documents that the driver has to add on viewing the i button he or she can see more details about the driver pictures of the vehicle that he or she drives admin also has the right to verify or unverify the documents submitted by the driver and also the bank information is available over here the next is expired docs driver so the documents that have expired uh, the driver needs to update them again so here's the list of all those documents compiled next is the customers who are registered with the pickup and delivery application and they have often placed delivery requests or pickup requests then comes the truck which has two load types and categories so load type is basically the capacity of every single vehicle the admin also has the right to add a type of vehicle or edit the capacity or the cancellation fee or the carrier fee for a particular vehicle and under categories admin can check what type of categories of the goods can be transported next is the promo code promo code is of course very easy uh, whether it is going to be a percentage type of promo code or a flat discount type of a promo code that the customers can use so admin can add different promo codes can also put the status active or inactive for those promo codes to be uh, available for the customers to use they of course have a validity of start and end date as well app settings so this is about the version of both android ios for both the users whether it's customer or driver so admin can uh, basically launch the updates via his admin panel and um, this can be either a forced update or it can be an optional update apart from this the maintenance mode can also be enabled from a single click in the admin panel this is how robust an admin panel has to be and a purple experts know how to do it in order to make one do get in touch with us under the general settings section in the menu these are basic settings about the tax the tax type on which type of the vehicle model that tax will be eligible so all of these things and under the booking section under all section admin can view how many total bookings have been there on the platform there's also a great amount of filters that the admin can make use of 
and by tapping on details of course the admin can check all the customer driver fare information and how much earnings were there from that particular booking of a customer and in order to filter certain things out the admin can check category wise so this can be under the completed bookings and this can be the cancelled bookings what was the reason when were they cancelled what were the rates of cancellation charges that the customer had to pay the accepted pending ongoing bookings like that so the next is report section so it is very important for an admin to go through all the reports that uh, are happening and that is the reason he can first check the payment type and the first is payment type wherein the admin can go through what type of a payment was every particular booking paid in and also what is the status of the same there is a filter for the admin whether it was a card payment or it was a cash payment so the modes of payment can be filtered from here the commission section wherein uh, how much commission did uh, any party receive when it comes to every single booking so that's what this section is about similarly there are cancellations transactions then there's a lot of information about driver shift log in this section so which driver works in what shifts uh, if there are any designated shifts that the driver works in so all of these details can be mentioned over here so the moment that every customer or driver enters a complaint and hits the submit button the complaint reaches to the admin immediately in his admin panel then next comes the ratings so uh, how many ratings has every customer given to the uh, driver or to the platform as a whole those ratings can be checked here similarly the ratings for customer can also be checked here and by the drivers also so from the admin section the admin can basically update the profile and the password can also be changed from the right hand side menu and the admin can also log out from the same menu so yes that is how the admin panel works of a pickup and delivery application it includes all the necessary features and in order to build one you can connect with the developers and designers at a purpose next we will learn how the customer's registration and login flow takes place in a pickup and delivery app after installing the application and a basic sign up process as a customer the customer gets the sign in details he or she can use the same in order to log into the app once the customer is in the app he or she can basically start booking the pickups and delivery service order requests on the left hand side menu on the home screen the customer can basically see the my trips option from this menu the customer can view all the upcoming booking requests that he has made for pickups and delivery and the past requests also by hitting on a particular trip he or she can view the in depth details about that trip which includes the pickup and delivery location and in order to reschedule a trip the customer can basically edit the date and time the reason can also be entered over there for what reason is it being delayed or being cancelled same goes for the past pickup and delivery requests that have been completed already up next is the payment method so the customer can choose the payment method it can be either cash or card then the customer can also check out the promo codes that he or she is eligible for and can use the same in order to enjoy the benefits and discounts under the invite friends section the customer can directly invite his contact to use the same app under the settings section the customer can basically change the password or even edit the profile also the privacy policy and terms and conditions of this application can be read from here the support section is basically very important when it comes to a customer's app so the customer can provide a positive or a negative feedback any kind of opinion if he or she has and these directly reach the admin the tickets that he or she has raised in the past can also be viewed from here along with the status of whether they are pending or resolved log out button also exists in the same menu the bell icon on the right hand side is basically the notifications panel 
So yeah, that's it. That's how the customer's app works in a pickup and delivery application. Every pickup and delivery app has two different users. First is the drivers, second is the customers. So let's get started with the driver's application first. Before the driver can start providing his services, he or she needs to register on the platform. So here's the registration process for the same. After installing the application on the device, the driver can first go ahead and enter his basic login details. So it can include the email address, the password in order to confirm and adding the mobile number lead to verifying the account. After entering the OTP, the application asks the driver to enter a couple of profile details. These are basic name, date of birth, address, postal code, some bank information. The vehicle information also, this vehicle information includes the vehicle plate number, also the type of vehicle, when was the vehicle manufactured to the vehicle color. Some photos of the vehicle can also be attached from all the angles and then the driver is supposed to attach all the original documents that are related to his vehicle for further verification. After hitting submit, the application shows a pop-up that registration is successful and at this stage all these documents get updated in the admin panel and admin can then verify those documents. Once the verification is done from the admin side, the driver receives the login credentials, the sign-in credentials that he or she can use to sign into the app. So after signing in, the driver can basically start taking the delivery requests. The driver can basically turn the status to available or not available, which means online or offline. On the same home screen, the driver can also see his total earnings of the day. By hitting see more, you can also view the earnings of the entire week or month. If the driver has turned the status online, only then he'll be receiving requests for pickups and delivery. Otherwise, he won't. From the left-hand side menu, the first one is trip history. This can show the upcoming uh, trips that the driver is supposed to make and also the history, the past trips. By tapping into it, the driver can view more details about that trip whether it's completed or it's going to happen. The past trip details also, also showed the trip timing, the waiting timing, what was the total timing that that trip took and what were the total earnings of that trip, what was the distance that the driver had traveled, everything. From the settings section, the driver can edit his bank information, the vehicle details, if there's any document that he or she has to upload again, he, he's, he can attach it from this section. The password can also be changed from the same section. Setting section is of course very important. The next section on the uh, menu is profile details, first name, last name, basic email address details. And from the help section, the driver can get support. He or she can basically raise tickets and every ticket will have an ID and he or she can write in whatever the issue was. This directly reaches the admin and admin can take an action against the complaint or the ticket that has been raised. The notification section can show the driver certain notifications that he or she has received. So yes, that is how the driver's registration process works and these were all the features that are existing in a driver's app. Now that we have explored the registration process for both customer as well as driver, let us go ahead and look how a pickup and delivery request is placed and accepted. So, so on one side, the customer first places a request. So after logging in, he or she can just enter the pickup location and the drop off location and can select the mode of transport. Here, the customer has selected bike, added the parcel type, some documents. You can also add a couple of images parcels weight in kilogram, item quantity, how many documents, payment method selection and then hit on book now. Now the app starts looking for an available driver who is online. So here is the driver who gets a request, driver checks the trip details and the flights to accept. 
Now the customer also gets the notification that the trip is accepted and the driver gets the customer's details. So he starts moving towards the pickup location. The driver on arriving slides the button and the customer gets the notification that the driver has arrived. After handing over the parcel to the driver, the driver then starts the ride. Again, the customer gets notified about it that the trip has started. Both the users can navigate the route towards the delivery location. When the driver has arrived at the delivery location and has delivered the parcel, he slides on trip completed and the customer also gets the notification that the trip has been completed. Now the fare is paid and the grand total is also visible to the driver. Both the users can rate each other for the service. And yes, that is it. That is how the booking on a pickup and delivery service application works. In order to build a robust pickup and delivery application, you must get in touch with the experts at A Purple. So guys, this is all about the four features of our platform courier pickup and delivery. Other than that, there are many advanced features like chat facility between driver and customer, KYC for driver, notifications, etc. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. Please get in touch with us to discuss more in a brief.